it didn't even produce all the way. Look at that, y'all. Look at what God can do. If you just plant a seed, look at what God can do for you. <laughs> Welcome to Tommy Bites TV and Homestead. So I'm out here in this heat because yesterday I saw something that almost made me cry. So I just could not record it. So I'm going to try to get through this recording of my collard greens and what happened to them. Give you, you know, I don't know. Let's get started. Okay, y'all. So if you can remember, just from a few days ago, I recorded a garden update and I showed you how nice my collard greens were growing. Um, I have to be transparent because I see other people being transparent and this is a learning process for me. So look at my greens, y'all. Look at them. I mean, they devoured, they devoured, whatever it was devoured my leaves on my greens. Not, they did not spare, not one. So I don't know if I should just let them continue to try to grow and just seed out, but I want to just toss this whole container that I have it in right here. I really, I, I, I want to toss it, y'all. This is sad. Um, everything else seems to be doing fine with the exception of my corn. My corn is producing, let's go over to the corn. Look at these greens, y'all. <sighs> okay all right y'all so now we're at my corn that i have growing i have one right here that's growing um where's the other one and it, they're producing too early or something because look how small it is and it hasn't gotten much bigger then here's the other one. I can move this uh, sunflower out the way. I like how my um, okra plant is doing though. It's doing good. But look at, look at that. What, what kind of corn is that? That's gonna be nothing. So you know when the corn is ready, this silk right here will become brown. So this one is brown. So that means it's ready, right? But look how small it is, y'all. I thought I was gonna be able to do me a whole mukbang with this thing right here. I'm about to take it off the stalk. And see those, look, look, I broke it. Let me zoom in. And these ants came out of it. Do you see that? Those ants came out of it. Mess with it, but yeah, look at that. How in the world? I'm just gonna take it off. I'm gonna take it off because there's nothing I can do with this. Nothing. What is this? A, a baby corn? What? What is this? A baby corn? <sighs> Y'all, I just don't know. But other things are doing great aside for the moment. My okra plants, this is an okra plant right here. This is an okra. They're doing better than the ones in the front yard. My sunflowers are looking good, although something got a hold to that look right there. And then, look at that bad boy right there. 
Look at that bad girl right there. Look at these babies. Look at these babies. They bring me sunshine. Looking at them, and I can see. Let me see if I can get in there a little closer. Can you see? I'm just waiting for it to open up, y'all. Isn't that pretty? These give me joy for when I'm looking over at those collard greens. I want to cry. Why, Lord? Why, sweet baby Jesus? <sighs> Why? And then the other, the other uh, bed, raised bed. Let's go over here. I think I didn't do enough for my soil. I, I really do. This is a, a major learning process for me, y'all. So hopefully this is my practice garden so hopefully next year when we're in our other place i'll do better because i'll know better i'll know better i'll know more you know those are my um pumpkins that's right and i'm wondering if the aphids got hope to the uh collard greens or was it something else I probably should have treated those when I treated the strawberries. When I saw the aphids on the strawberries in a different container, I should have came to the backyard and treated these just in case. Upon further investigation, can you see that? Right there. This is what's been eating my collard greens. So I was over here pulling off the tops, the leaves of the, and then I discovered this is just two that I found. So I took a couple of my collard greens and I replanted them in a different container. I'm still doing a few. So I took some of the collard greens out and I planted them uh, in here. I took the leaves off of them and the ones that had nice roots, I replant them in this little container. So we're gonna try to get something We'll and I'm just going to discard this soil and start something else in here. I'll probably put my lettuce in here. So I just want to show you what I have found. And he just moving from leaf to leaf oh. there. And that little thing, well, a few of them, destroyed my collard greens. If you know what it is, leave it down in the comments. I'm not giving up on my collard greens. I'm just going to move a few of my roots to a different um, container. And I'm going to dump this soil, start over with fresh soil, and do probably lettuce, something quick, or spinach. Anyway, that's it. And this is pumpkins, too. All right, coming back out. This pumpkin is growing up the stalk of the sunflower, y'all. What in the world? And it has blooms on it. This one has blooms on it as well. Little tiny, um, oh, and I see a bud on there. Isn't that crazy? Because it took forever. Okay, y'all, this is crazy. It took forever for the jalapeno peppers to start blossoming and actually get the jalapeno on it and thicken up at the stem. These are little tiny thin stems compared to the ones in the front yard. But yet they have a whole jalapeno coming on there. These here are also blooming and I see a little jalapeno on that one. I'm, I'm at a loss for words on the collard greens jesus if you know let me know in the comment and y'all please remember to hit the subscribe button don't forget to like the videos so it'll let youtube know to um, push more videos out to more people and something and digging in here what the look at this Something has been in there. Oh, 
Okay, y'all. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Thank y'all for watching my other videos. Thank you for watching this video. And I look forward to bringing you more content. Until next time, peace, love, and light. Thank you for joining Tommy Bites TV and Homestead. And also remember that I love you, but God loves you more. He created only when you be the best you that you can be. And when you are that person, go out and spread joy, 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 and God's love. Peace, love, and light. Out. Okay, so here's the corn that I just took off. It still has ants on it. Look, it's ants on my table. It didn't even produce all the way. Well, not a waste. I shouldn't say a waste because there's a lesson in everything you do. Good or bad, there is a lesson. There's corn in there. That is not going to be for me to eat, but... I was in North Carolina. I give it to the chickens and stuff. But this is the corn. It was going to be so pretty. That white corn. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look, look at what God can do. If you just plant a seed, look at what God can do for you. Don't wait for Him to do it all. Faith without works is dead. Put in the work, y'all. Put in the work. Whether it comes out right or not, if you put in the work enough, God will bless it. Look at that. And as upset as I am that this is not what I wanted it to be, it's something that I did with my hard work. And it shows me that I can do it and I can do more. So plant something, y'all. Plant it today. Plant it tomorrow. And enjoy the fruits of your labor. And the harvest will be abundant eventually for me. Yep. There she go. There she goes. There she goes.